<sighs> What's going on, everybody? Y'all already know who it is. It's your boy, Fire Dragon CK. And I'm back again for another video. You guys can probably tell from my tone. And you can tell from the title that this is a different type of video. And it just needs to be said. This needs to be addressed and it needs to be said, bro. For those that were in my, a party with me yesterday, man, my boys, Magic, shout out to my boy Magic, shout out to my boy Flyboy, shout out to my boy Deadly Ninja. Y'all already knew that this video was coming, man. Oh, and shout out to my boy Live Guy, who also just came uh, back to Mortal Kombat X uh, yesterday. Y'all already knew this video was coming. Now, let's get into this, right? Let's talk about this. Let's really jump into this. FBG. These, these really, these real sorry ass clowns, bro. FBG, bro. Who actually are these dudes? The world may never know, right? You know, Tootsie Pops, you know, the world may never know. It's hidden flavor. FBG, the world may never know. Can these dudes actually win sets? The world may never know. <laughs> but anyways, let's get into this. So for those that have been living under a rock, you guys probably may or may not know that you know this game is a game that gets streamed regularly right mortal kombat x but yesterday in particular a lot of people were streaming this game shout out to my boy 88 shout out to my boy unbearable skill shout out to my dude july saline my dude smash basically a lot of people were streaming content even star charger i believe was streaming content for mortal kombat x yesterday right so these guys basically help keep the game alive and they help bring hype to the game and of course destroyer too right but i digress anyways Three of these streams were just taken down back to back to back, right? Unbearable Skill, 88, July Saline, and Magic. So actually four people were just DDoS attacked on their streams, and their streams were just interrupted and ended, right? <sighs> My whole thing is this. <laughs> hey, hey, yo, hey, listen, man, hey, listen. All the dudes in that, that was in a party with yesterday, you guys know that when I first learned about this and I learned that this was going on yesterday, the first thing I did, y'all, was I laughed. I literally was laughing in the party. Anybody can tell you that I was just 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 laughing, bro. Like, like, and the reason why I'm laughing is because it's like, bro, are we really that desperate? Are we that desperate to bring attention to our sorry ass clan that we have to basically sabotage the streams of people that are way better than us? To bring attention we can't just play sets we can't just play games and bring notoriety to our clan ourselves we got to basically sabotage everybody else to bring attention to us that that shit is lame as hell dude like you're actual losers like <laughs> i don't even feel bad saying that like fbg you guys are actual losers like straight up your boy fire dragon saying that you guys are actual losers like i don't care what anybody says you guys can go ahead and clip this Slice it up, whatever you want. FBG, you guys are actual losers. But anyways, right, I told people this, right? I told people that FBG are not cool. These dudes are not cool, and these dudes are toxic to the community. I said this so long ago, right? When I first interacted with these dudes, I could tell that they were toxic. But back when I said that, a lot of people didn't understand, you know, where that was coming from. Fire Dragon, why, why are you so mean to the FBG dudes? Why aren't you cool with them? They're, they seem like cool guys, right? But you know the old saying goes, right guys? The higher a monkey climbs, the more he's exposed. And that's basically what everybody got a glimpse of yesterday. They got a glimpse of how sorry and how toxic these players in FBG are. And let's keep it real, guys. We all know why FBG was formed, right? I mean, we all know that FBG was formed by a bunch of people that weren't good enough to make it into HCW. Ouch! <laughs> Ouch! I mean, we all know that... That's why this 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 sorry ass clan was formed, right? That's how these dudes even came to be because they're a bunch of dudes that got clapped trying to join HTW and they just formed this little clan. But anyways, I'll give you guys a story of how I came into interaction with FBG. I don't know if they existed before this. I don't know if any others may have came into contact with them and had similar stories. But I will tell you guys how I came in contact with FBG, which all started I want to say August of last year. As I mentioned before, and as I shouted out in my intro, I shout out my boy Live Guy. Um, Live Guy and the leader of FBG, Asin, sort of had a little beef going on, a little bit of stuff going on, right? And they play each other all the time, and they play each other rather frequently. 
And I overheard them talking and having a debate, you know, in the chat, right? So, basically, I think Asin had played Live Guy, and I think he must have beat him like 5-3 or 5-4, right? And I think he was using the character that I'm using on screen, so Asin was using Hellfire Scorpion, and Live Guy was using Gunslinger Aaron Black, right? So, they were arguing back and forth, and Live Guy was like, GG's, but, bro, honestly, Hellfire Scorpion is a higher, is a, is a much better character than Gunslinger Aaron Black. And then, this man Asin had the nerve to say, I don't know what you're talking about, these characters are on the same tier, bro. I'm like, so, I got wind of that, right? And I decided to jump in, I was like, hey, yo, Asin, shout out to you, bro, but did you really just say that Gunslinger Aaron Black is as good of a character as Hellfire Scorpion, dude? And, you know, basically I hopped in and I was defending Live Guy because if anybody can sort of talk about those two characters and that matchup, it's me, right? Because I play Hellfire Scorpion and I play Gunslinger Aaron and I play both sides of the matchup. I played as Hellfire against Gunslinger and vice versa. I played as Gunslinger Aaron Black against Hellfire. So if anybody knows that matchup and if anybody has played those characters and can talk from both sides of the fence, it's me, right? So I basically was hopping in, I was basically, you know, just, just saying, you know, Live Guy is right, dude. Hellfire Scorpion is a much better character than Gunslinger Aaron. I didn't really get to see the set, so I don't know how well you played, but I just know that that's definitely true, bro. And basically, if you need to know anything about this guy, Asin, the dude has a huge ego, bro. The guy has a big ego, an ego that's bigger than Mount Everest, bro. An ego that's bigger than the negative response of Mortal Kombat 11. Yeah, I just said that. The dude has a big ego bro and you can imagine people with big egos when their ego gets bruised they do not like that shit bro so me sticking up for live guy already rubbed that dude the wrong way and i could tell already that the dude really didn't like me right just for the fact that i wasn't on his side and with all this fbg dudes and the fact that they thought they were all just gonna gang up on live guy and basically the fact that i was agreeing with live guy got them on their nerves right so this dude asin says you know Fire Dragon, I don't know why you're really talking, bro. I wasn't really talking to you. I'm like, bro, I'm just giving my input on a matchup. Take it or leave it, right? So this other guy, Mighty Ninja, right, who was also part of that little group and that clan they had going on, he's like, Fire Dragon, you talk so much about Aaron Black. Why don't you put your money where your mouth is? I'm like, put my money, put my money where? My Where? What are you talking about? He goes, since you want to talk so much, why don't you go play Asin in the first of 10 tonight, right? I'm like okay i mean i was really just talking about the characters and the matchup i wasn't really talking about how you guys played or or what happened in that set i was just saying that hellfire scorpion is a better character objectively than gunslinger aaron i mean if that is something that is worth me playing somebody in the first of 10 over then by all means i guess you could set it up right so this dude my ninja basically says that i'm gonna play acid tonight because I talk all this trash and all that, and Asin is gonna is gonna whoop me and all that and blah blah blah. Basically, he's trying to intimidate me by telling me I'm going to play this guy Asin, right? Oh, I don't know this dude. All I just know is this is just some random dude that I met in the chat with Live Guy, right? Anyways, this dude right plays me in a set, and he uses Flame Fist Liu Kang and Mournful Katana, the carried of carried and the cheaps of cheaps. Yeah, I don't care what anybody says, but yeah. And I was using Gunslinger Aaron, and I managed to beat the dude 10-3. Um, yeah. If you're losing 10-3 to Gunslinger Aaron with Lou and Katana, um, yeah. But anyways, um, like I said, this dude has a big ego. So you guys can imagine, this dude already didn't like me for the fact that I stuck up for Live Guy. And then he was talking all this trash, and he ended up losing. What do you guys think happened? This dude's ego was bruised. He does not like that shit. He did not like that shit, bro. He did not like the fact that he talked all this trash. That his boy talked all that trash to me in a set that I wasn't even instigating. That a set that I wasn't even trying to play, which was their idea. And he ended up losing, right? So the dude basically went off on me talking all this trash and blah, 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 blah. After that day, I was like, you know what? I'm going to be out of that toxicity. I'm not going to interact with these dudes again. I'm just going to leave and go about my own business. I have plenty of other friends I can play with, right? I don't need to play with these jokers and these clowns. I mean, who are they? We still don't know who they are, right? They're still irrelevant, and they still haven't made a name for themselves. I mean, we're not looking out to play any FBG dudes. But anyways, fast forward, I want to say about six or seven months later, right? Because keep in mind, that took place around August. So now we're sort of like in December, you know, January, you know, of this year, of 2021. And I'm getting wind that this dude Asin is still talking about me. I'm like, bro, this dude is talking about me, you know, 
he's talking about a set that was played like six or seven months ago, dude. Like, what is going on with you, bro? Like, what is your problem? And basically, people are saying that I'm afraid to rematch him. He's like, oh, Fire Dragon, you don't want to rematch Asin because he got a lot better. You know that you'll lose if you play him again. I'm like, bro, I don't want to play him because the dude's toxic, not because I'm afraid to play him in a matchup. So it's set up again. And basically what happened is this. So, as you guys know, um, Destroyer hosts sets all the time in this game in Mortal Kombat X, right? And Destroyer has a room open. You know, he'll, it'll usually say Destroyer first to five or Destroyer sets or Destroyer MKX, right? I think it was a room called Destroyer sets. I joined there. I see all the people there and everybody from the community. Everybody's having a good time, right? I'm even tuned into Destroyer stream. So, I was joining up on the in there, you know, to hopefully, you know, play for Destroyer stream because a lot of people wanted to see me, you know, participate, right? Cool, it is what it is. So, while I'm in there in the chat room, I happen to see Acid, the same dude that I already beat, and the same dude that was talking all this trash about me, saying I'm afraid to rematch him. So, I said, you know what, Fire Dragon, you just joined this room, and Acid just happens to be in this room, too. Maybe it's fate. Let's give this guy his rematch. Let's give this guy his long-awaited rematch that he's been talking about, that he's been smearing your name about to all of his friends, right? It is what it is. So, I played the dude again, I put it up on my channel... I believe the video is called, what, Fire Dragon versus, uh, versus a Potato? <laughs> or something like that. Because I called the video Fire Dragon versus a Potato because the dude is irrelevant, bro. So I give the dude his rematch. I beat him 10-6. And it is what it is, right? Now, you guys could imagine. Like I said, what did I tell you about this guy? This guy has a big, huge ego, bro. You could imagine. The dude already doesn't like me. And he played me in another first of 10, trained all this time. Talked all this trash, and he lost to me again. He did not like that shit, guys. He did not like the fact that he tried to challenge me again, and I beat him. You feel me? And I'm, I'm not clowning the dude because he lost a set. Hell, I've lost sets. I've even got 10 Odin sets before. But when you're going to talk trash and be toxic to an entire community, dude, of course people are going are gonna to make fun of you when you get your ass handed to you. Of course they are, because you're being toxic. It's not because of the fact that you lost. It's because of the fact that you have no respect and you're being toxic to an otherwise cool community of players. You feel me? But anyways, after that, I just kept my cool. And fast forward to, I want to say, about last week, right? So, Mighty Ninja, which is the same dude that, you know, got me to play his friend, his boy, Asin, the leader of FBG, that same little pawn. Mighty Ninja basically messaged me out of the blue, right? He goes, and he adds me to the FBG chat. So... Like I said, FBG is their own clan, right? They have their own chat. They have their own everything, their own parties and everything. All of a sudden, I was just randomly added to the FBG chat, right? So I'm like, you know, why am I here? The dude Mighty Ninja goes, Fire Dragon, you were right. So I'm like, I'm right. What am I right about? What, what are you talking about, dude? He goes, Fire Dragon, you were right, man. Asin is toxic, bro. He's toxic. So I'm like, oh, really? What happened? And he's basically like, you know, Asin was toxic to us. He basically made fun of us and clowned us and blah, 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 blah. I'm like, dude, it, just ignore the dude, man. He's irrelevant. Like, if the dude's clowning you, it's not really a big deal. He's like, yeah, I know, bro. But, you know, I was his friend. I was cool with him. And, you know, he just started clowning me, you know, and, and he started being really toxic to me. But, you see, this is something that I told people before. He does this with everybody he encounters, dude. He does it with everybody he meets. He's just a toxic player, dude. He's just really toxic. But now, even people in his own clan are starting to see him for who he is. The higher monkey climbs, the more he's exposed. So, the longer time goes on, more of y'all are starting to see this clan and this dude, this leader, for who he is. Right? So, Mighty Ninja now is, is basically cool with me. He basically apologized to me. He's like, Fire Dragon, I'm really sorry. Like, like honestly, that was some petty shit. Like, like there was nothing to start a beef over. It's like... It's okay, dude. Apology accepted. It is what it is, right? I'm not really trying to hold grudges on people over a six-year-old game, bro. We're all just playing this game to have fun and enjoy ourselves. Like, I don't really have a reason to hold grudges against people. Like, the only reason why I hold a grudge against Asin is because he holds a grudge against me. You feel me? If the dude just stopped talking about me and kept my name out of his mouth, I wouldn't really have a reason to have a beef with him. But, so, me and Mighty Ninja are cool now. Mighty Ninja, if you're in this, shout-outs to you. And shout-outs to you for having the courage and the gall to, to hit me up and, you know, just try to squash everything. I'm cool with that. So, you're out of the picture now. Now, addressing Asin and eat those pills, you face Azazel, um, you face God and any other dudes that may be there or maybe associated with FBG, you know, Young Boy, 
Master Raven, all you other clowns. Azazel, if you're not in this, comment or say something because I don't want to falsely accuse you. Some people say you may be involved with FBG. Some say you're not. I don't know, right? So now here's FBG. I'm going to address you guys. Fast forward to, to basically two weeks later from that point where me and my ninja squashed our, our stuff. And you have what happened yesterday. These dudes randomly going around to top streamers in our community, bringing hype to this game, helping keep this game alive, and DDoSing them and shutting them down for their own enjoyment, their own entertainment, you know, because they're so desperate to get attention on them and their little sorry-ass clan. Like, bro, you guys should be getting attention on yourselves by just playing the game, right? If, when you play the game and you're good at the game, attention is going to be brought to you, right? That's how attention was brought to 88. That's how attention was brought to Ninja Killer. And hell, even if you're not even the best player in the world, but you're just cool and treat people nice and, and you just have respect and you're just a chill person, people are going to mess with you. There are people I mess with that I know that I would wreck if I played them in a serious set, but I'm cool with them because they're cool dudes and they're genuine people. But when you're toxic and you're a trash player, the two don't mix. You can be toxic and also be ass. <laughs> you feel me? I'm, I'm just keeping it real. Of course people are going to clown you. So... And especially now, more people are going to clown you guys, and more people are, are going to not want to associate with you guys more than ever for the fact that you guys really sat up here and DDoS people, bro. Really? Like, because you guys know in your dreams that you would never be able to contest people like Unbearable Skill, 88, Magic, and you know that people will never be in, as invested and tuned into you, your content for your little sorry-ass clan. You guys really had to try to disrupt what they had going on just to bring attention to yourselves. To me, that is the wackest thing about this whole thing. It's just so sad. It is so sad. And it's kind of funny. Like, it's just like, bruh, is that the level we stoop to? Like, is that the, the level of desperation? How low we are to, to really do that? You feel me? So, guys, what I would say is this. Just block all these FBG dudes. Block FBG Demon Ass. Block FBG Master Raven. Block... All, all these FBG clowns, bro. Don't even talk about them. Don't even associate with them. This is actually going to be the last video I make about any of these tools, bro. You feel me? So just block these dudes and keep doing your thing. Don't let these dudes stop you from streaming or stop you from bringing hype to the community. Shout out to dudes like 88, again, Unbearable Skill, Star Charger, July Saline, Magic, Smash, um, Flyboy. Keep doing what you do. Do not let these, these stupid clowns go ahead and try to ruin our game and our community and our players by them DDoSing people and trying to bring attention to themselves, trying to destroy the community. It's not going to work, bro. And you guys are just lame. Like, you're, that's all you guys are, just lame, and you're just irrelevant. You were irrelevant before the DDoSing, and you clowns are still irrelevant now. So my question to you is, what changed? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing changed at all, except more people just know how toxic and how sorry you lame-ass dudes are. But... That is all, guys. I just had to address that because that that was just probably one of the most toxic things I've seen in a while in, in Mortal Kombat X. So, shout out to everybody, man. I hope you guys are having a great day. You know, stay healthy, stay blessed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And share this video to anybody else you think may need to see it. Alright, guys? And make sure to warn fellow streamers and content creators about these FBG dudes because these guys are all just lames and they're all irrelevant. Alright? Be blessed and be safe, guys. Fire Dragon out. Peace.